Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Miss Blessing and this is I Teach With Miss B. And if this is your first time here, trust me, you are in the right place. So click on the like, subscribe and share button. And today I'm going to be sharing something very wonderful um, for you. I'm going to be sharing how you could use and understand the Zoom interface. A lot of teachers have problems doing this. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to schedule links, how to understand each tool on the Zoom um, app. We're also going to be learning or we're going to be looking at how you can use the Zoom to um, share screen and all of that. So I know that a lot of teachers use Google Meet very well, but Zoom interface is quite easier and smoother. And I'm going to be explaining all of this, how to use Team Chat, okay? How to use the document, how to use the AI part. All of these are going to be in the video. So please click, click on the like, subscribe, share button, share with your friends and join me as we talk about how to use the zoom okay so zoom is a video conferencing tool that you can use um, for your online classroom now a lot of people are confused about how to use the zoom someone even sent me a message and that's why we're doing this okay so now let's look at the zoom interface now in, when you log into your zoom um, or you sign up on zoom this is the interface or this is what you're going to see to see um for my own my zoom is licensed but if your zoom is not licensed you can only spend 40 minutes on the app but if your zoom is licensed then you can spend more than 40 minutes on the app you can spend as long as you want so my own zoom is licensed i had to license my zoom because i use it um to teach and the price is about seven thousand naira or so um per month so monthly they deduct the money for seven thousand naira from my account um, because it's on a monthly subscription right now moving forward um when you go on zoom the first thing you see you see your home you see meetings you see team chat you see document you see tax you see whiteboards and on and on and on like that now um the big good beautiful part of it is that zoom has integrated ai into the, uh, the into the zoom i know when we started using zoom it was not there so everybody's or ev all most apps now are integrating ai into their app so you have the ai part of it as well now i'm going to show you um how to schedule a zoom meeting first of all then when i'm done doing that i'm also going to show you how to navigate the zoom interface what you're going to be seeing now for instance you want to schedule a meeting you go to schedule and it's going to load up now when it loads up you could change the zoom meeting name to your name anyone you want it to be for instance i'm going to change this from my name to miss blessing zoom meeting miss blessing zoom meeting now if you are a teacher if you're a teacher and you know you you are going to be teaching every day i would advise that you just set it as a recurring meeting like so so you don't have to keep using that link over and over like sorry you don't have to keep creating a link over and over again you can use one link and um, there's a particular student i've been teaching for over two to three years now that student i've been using one link because it's a recurring link now what you do is you come here to the date you the date and the time does not really matter so um sorry the date does not really matter but the time i put mine at 12 p.m 12 a.m and put it in the list which is 11 45 a.m um that's because i can have classes back to back every day like that now for the timing um for the repeat i go to to um daily for it to repeat every day okay because like i said i teach every day i teach till sunday so i teach every day so mine is repeating daily but if yours is not repeating daily and you want to create a specific link for a student if the student's class is every wednesday you could put it on wednesday if your student's class is every friday or you as a teacher you say i only teaching from mondays to fridays that's fine you could put it every weekday okay but like i said i do daily so i just go to daily and put it in add invitees there's no need at this point because what you're going to do is you're going to send the link out to the student right now um templates none um, there's no need for that as well the next thing i want to talk about is your passcode now for this passcode um you could leave it here or you could change it um i love to customize my passcode so i'm going to change this to stars yes and then enable waiting room now when you when waiting room is when someone joins your meeting the person will wait until you admit the person in 
right the person will not just badge into the meeting no the person will be at the waiting room until you they'll send you a notification that your student has joined or your student is in the waiting room then you can let the person in if you want to so waiting room is for an online setting i'll always advise that the waiting room should be on then the next thing is um that the um, enhanced equip encryption i don't really bother about all of this i don't bother about all of this um automatically start a meeting summary who receives the summary after the meeting only the meeting host but if it's a general meeting where you have um maybe a teacher's meeting or something you could put it that everyone um everyone in the meeting okay but if it is just um you and your students you could just do only hosting the meeting that works now you go on um video on participant on so your video can come on your participant video can come on but if you want to automatically if you want to turn it on by yourself you can come here and but i usually leave my video on like i usually say i should like i usually tell teachers your video should always be on right so the video is on so when you log in the first thing that happens is that your video comes on right now um but you could still turn it off from the zoom settings now let's go again the next one i want to talk about is this you could put it in your google calendar if you put this in your google calendar that means your zoom is going to be integrated into your google calendar right but you could use other calendars as well so once the one beautiful thing is that when it's in your google calendar it gives you notification few minutes to the meeting time okay yeah then um advanced interpretation select language all of this i'm not really i don't really need all of this and then i'm going to save this so let's see um this machine is going to save and it's going to generate very good so you could see here that it has generated the link this is your meeting link that you use now um the meeting the meeting link is quite long so what i usually do is i copy this and then i edit it when i want to send it okay i'll copy this and then when i want to send it to somebody i edit it sometimes i just use it i come here i put this here control v then i'm going to reduce some of these things that are here i don't really need i don't really need them like this time this 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 all i need is the link and the password and the passcode right so all of these are not really needed they're not really needed so all i need like i said i need the um link yes this is what i need okay blah, 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 blah. join zoom meeting yes so this is the link i need the one that has joined zoom meeting with that link um you could see that my you could see that my password meeting id and password is also there okay my meeting ID, this is what I need. Your link, the meeting ID, and password. Every other thing, you can take them out. Just edit it. It's not, it's not needed. You can take all these ones out. They are not needed. So all you need is your password, the meeting ID, and the link. Yes, so this is what this is what your your this thing is going to look like blessing or is writing to schedule zoom meeting, topic means blessing zoom meeting, join with the zoom meeting link and you could join the person could join with the id and the password so this is your zoom meeting link that you could send to people to join now remember that i just set in the meeting and i put it on recording now because i put on recording look at it here these are these meeting ad i have set okay one is the one i have before one is the one i just set now before if you look at it, it was just one now it's two right now let's start a meeting let's start a meeting let's see the interface okay so this is here let's go to meetings now if you go to the meetings part you're going to see all the meetings now you could see two meetings now now because one was already set on um recurring the other one is also set on recurring as well so it's it's telling you that the two meetings are on are ought to be on already right well i'm not doing all of that i'll just i just want us to see what this is now when we're done here i'm going to still explain the zoom interface the second one and the next thing i want to talk about is your team chat now your team chat is like 
um, where you and the people that you are doing the meeting with can communicate it's just like when you have your conversation in the chat it comes here um, when you record a meeting it comes in here as well so for my own the way i set it is that my recordings my conversation everything should it comes to my team chat at the end of the meeting now you can add people to your team chat okay there's a company i work for that they 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 usually tell me they usually tell us to use team chat so if you don't have the parents you can add the parents up okay in the team chat for instance you want to create a new message to someone or invite a contact so if you click on the plus sign here you go to invite a contact you could put the contact email and send it the person is going to receive an invitation and accept it now you can chat with the person via team chat okay so another good thing is that if you are a company owner you, and you are using team chat you can be able to see the conversation that goes on between the parents and the teacher okay yeah so that is for using the doom team chat maybe you don't want to use whatsapp you don't want parents to have your direct whatsapp contact or something you could use team chat to actually chat them up or um send a, a message to them if they accept your invitation okay or when they accept your invitation you can now have a direct chat with them okay the next one i want to talk about is the google talk google google docs google docs is, uh, sorry zoom docs is like a document where you, a place where you can just put in your document maybe you're having a meeting and all of that so i'm not really going to do out there yes and zoom has the whiteboard zoom has the whiteboard as well now um, for the whiteboard if you're a teacher and maybe your students wants to you, you're teaching math you're teaching english or you're teaching something and then you don't want to brainstorm or you don't want to work on something you could come on the whiteboard with this this is your whiteboard now you can choose to have a, um, a conversation or whatever it is with the child let's look at a um, new whiteboard let's look at new whiteboard create a new whiteboard create a new whiteboard now when you create a new whiteboard you will be able to um, um, collaborate with your student so while it's showing on your screen as you are writing this your students can be writing as you are um, marking your student can be writing on that whiteboard as well because it's collaborative like I said um, you can share the link with your student your student is going to join you here and then you can write so for instance you want to write something you can come here and write good morning you add a text good morning your student is going to be we are sharing your screen right so your student is going to be seeing you do using the whiteboard and your student can also use the whiteboard with you so that is for the whiteboard now i want to i don't want this to be too long let's go into understanding the zoom interface like when you start a meeting so i'm going to start a meeting um and even though somebody is not here i'm just going to start a meeting okay so it has opened i'm just going to make this bigger so you can see now this is my zoom interface or this is what i have for my zoom or my zoom interface um now the first thing you have you have your audio you have your video you have participants you have chats you have react you have share you have i'm going to explain all of this now for your audio if you're using i'm using a headset to do this recording that's why you could see microsoft logic usb now your audio if the if you mute it like this if it's muted if you unmute it it's unmuted your video same thing if you once you have this red crossing on it that means you can't um they can't see you right just the same way what you're seeing here is my logo because of the fact that my camera is turned off but if my camera is turned on you get to see me now for participant it tells you how many people are in your meeting okay if somebody is in the waiting room you see that waiting room participant someone is there but because nobody is in this meeting i'm just the only one here this is what my meeting look like now in participant you can choose to mute the participant upon entry okay you could choose to allow the participant to unmute themselves allow participant to rename themselves like my students when they come in i usually tell them rename yourself i love when they add adjectives to their name i'll tell them add an adjective to your name so you see them give their name like a uh, realistic uh, regina um optimum olivia stuff like that now add sound when someone joins or leave i usually turn this on so i get to know when my any of my students leave or when they join in um enable waiting room we've talked about enable waiting room hide profile pictures i don't need this lock meeting if you lock the meeting that means no one else can come into the meeting again okay maybe you are having a meeting 
with your staff and you say 7 a.m. from and then they some people are coming in strolling in by 7 10 you can lock the meeting and then they will not be part of the meeting but i don't really use um that as well so th that is it for participants right now another thing you can do um when you after participants another one i want to talk about is your chat now your chat is where you have conversation you can pop it out yeah you have conversation with them now maybe you have a group class and you want them to collaborate you could allow them to converse with themselves they just click on new chat and then they begin to converse with themselves so if i type everything something here everyone is going to see it because i'm sending it to everyone okay um everyone is going to but if i want to send a message directly to somebody you'll see that um if i click on new chat they will ask me who do i want to send a message to and i'll send it to the person but as like i said nobody's here that's why it's like this then the next one we want to talk about is your reaction so for instance you could send a reaction the clap reaction maybe a child does well you send a reaction a child does well if your video is on you could use the effect my video is not turned on so i can't really use the effect Mm, you can laugh and all of that so you send in reaction is really interactive your, your student gets to see when they send it. you could even tell them how you feel feeling today use a reaction to tell me how you're feeling and they go ahead to tell you that i'm sure you've got some value watching this first part of the video the second part will be up on my channel so watch out for the video on my channel my ebook is up and running um it started running on the first of october and now this ebook is the online tutoring blueprint now this book tells you everything you need to know about being an online tutor it, um, being an online tutor and starting even if you have zero experience that's the beautiful thing about it even though you're just starting out you have zero experience this book is going to guide you on what to do per time or every step you need to take step-by-step -step guide and trust me when you take this step-by-step -step guide are proven guides that in fact i have um i have people in different countries that will reach out to me and be like i followed your guide and then it has worked so i decided to put everything into a book and the book is in the, the link of the book is in the description box please click on the link and you get my book all right, thank you so much for watching. Please click on the like, subscribe, and share button. My name is Miss Blessing, and this is I Teach with, with Miss B. See you in my next video. Bye.